what's up y'all welcome to my channel if you can't tell by my background i'm at work so if you're wondering what i do i am a direct support professional better known as a dsp so i do work for the company broad step for now i can't really elaborate too much about the company because i'm still with the company so can't say much about them but i can't talk about the job the description and the overall job because no matter what company you go to the job is the same so y'all go ahead and tap in and let's go so the first thing you do is you clock in wherever you go you need to clock in and make sure you get your money the next thing you do is you go to debriefing debriefing will pretty much tell you what happened the day before what you should look forward to today that's it. After that, you get your unit. Right now, I'm on the verbal hall, which is a high functioning hall. That means most of these people can clean for themselves. They can think, they can speak. They're pretty active. Most of them have behavior issues. So on a day-to-day -day basis, typically you are the one who kind of runs your unit. You kind of come sit down, sit down, go have a seat. You run your unit, you kind of decide what your day going to be like. Like, for example, I'm going to show y'all. This is like the little schedule. I'm going to put it down so we can see it. But this is kind of an idea because when certain people come in, this is going to like tell you what we're doing all today. It's Halloween, so this is our spirit week we have like a few different shit or things that you could dress up like so this is pretty much what everything looks like so yeah just my little disc my little area it's very little but it gets the job done and excuse my pants because I had to take the pants off because you can't wear red pants to work. So I had to change my pants by a lot in. But anywho, you need one of these for sure when you work here. Um, I also keep my little speaker for when we vibe out. Little tablet. Definitely gotta keep you a pair of headphones, multiple headphones. A little smell good because these cherries stink. They provide things like this is always gonna be in your unit. This is always gonna be in your unit. That's always gonna be in your unit. And this always gonna be in your unit. And they always gonna use some toilet paper. So you ain't gotta worry about that stuff. So a lot of times, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a productive, productive DSP, so like I'm not doing these words on the wall with them. I'm not doing no coloring sheets with them. I'm not doing no freaking raw puzzles with them. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> we about to chill. We about to watch movies. Go outside. Most of the time, I am on the low functioning hall, which is the C hall. A lot of times, I'm on that hall. And that hall, we don't get to go nowhere. This hall, they get to go places. So, honestly, I ain't been going nowhere. <sighs> That's just the truth the kids i'll be watching usually bad like can you take them away bad? but yeah but essentially this is like well, the reason why i wanted to make a video on this is because this is like my first professional job well teleperformance was like my first professional professional job that i took serious like i used to dress up for work um you know i had like benefits you get your 40 hours a week you get your health insurance, you get your 401k. So I think that this is like a good field to break in if you've never had like a professional job, this very pretty much repetition. Like if you don't have a job that you're used to doing the same thing every day, your job ain't offering you no benefits. Like most of these jobs is given 80 hours a week. You're getting your benefits, you're getting your 401k. So that's why I decided to do a YouTube video on it so people could, you know, get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. To me, it's the easiest money you'll ever make other 
than the trouble that can come with it. Like, if you're one of them people that don't have temperance, you don't know how to practice your temper, this is not for you. If you feel like you can hit other people's kids and get away with it, this is not for you. Like, this is a very cool laid back job. Honestly, my best advice is just let them do what they want. Like, that sound bad. As long as they're not hurting themselves, hurting each other, hurting you. If they screaming, let them scream. If they throwing shit, let them throw it. Like, that's the easiest thing I can tell you. But if you coming from a place where I came from, where you was working at McDonald's, you was working at Pizza Hut, you been working at the grocery store, you been working places that wasn't trying to give you your 80 hours, that was paying you $7, $8, $9. A DSP is definitely a step up. And then you don't have to have any credentials. Um, I've been doing this for two years now. I did stop. I started doing management in Taco Bell. That's going to be a whole nother video because that's a whole nother cup of tea in itself. But this is just for people that's looking for something to branch into as far as a career. Because like Friday, I actually start my CNA class. So, you know, it kind of, I started as a DSP. Now I want to do the CNA and then I want to do the RN. So it kind of just built me to want to do something in the medical field. So, if you're liking the video, make sure you click like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video. And if you have any commentary, if you feel like you are a current DSP, leave some comments. Well, leave a response in the comments so we can kind of discuss what's your view on, um, for example, different entities that can be called if you get in trouble, um, hearsay, she say, if you want to shed light on the negative, we can also talk about that in the comments. But this video wasn't really for negativity. It was more so for positivity to promote Hi Miguel, to kind of promote just um, a positive light on, on the actual job. So again, this is Life with Ebony. Life is a DSP. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all babes later.